Welcome back to the Truck and Truth. I'm Rick, and it has been a minute. So, to get the elephant out of the room, yes, that is Dom's 379. Yes, I did buy it. Yes, it costs $80. Is it worth it? In my opinion, no, but Dom explained it like this. He was going to lower it to 60 after the update. The update came. That lowering never happened. So people were asking Dom, hey, I thought you were going to lower the price to 60. And Dom's response was, yeah, but people kept buying at 80. So at that moment, not me, not you, not anyone can mount an argument against that because he's right people kept buying at 80 which means Dom didn't set that price he may have set it initially but the market set that price I mean I know if I was selling something for 80 bucks and it was selling I'm not going to mark it down to 60 if anything I might raise it up a little bit find that sweet spot so, I can't argue his logic. The market set the price. Did I buy it? Yeah. Was it worth it? I mean, kind of to me, in a way, yeah, because it's the only real true 379 I can find. You know, sure, Pinga's 389, 379, whatever. You can build a similar kind of looking truck Pinga does have a similar kind of looking sleeper as this one but it's not correct it also has three vents down the side no side door just complete I, you see I like mods that are as close to their real world counterpart as possible So, that's why I've never bought Pinga's mod. I just don't care for how Pinga's Peterbilt looks. That And it's it's a 389. And I got a 389. I got Ruda's 389. I got the SCS 389. I don't have it installed, but I got the Haterbilt 389. So, I'm 389'd out. What I really wanted was a 379, and the only way to really get that was, hey, Dom's 379. I will have a review coming on it, so show you the ins and outs, show you the things I like about it, talk about some of the things I don't really like about it. The reason we're not driving today is because I had a video I had recorded, edited, uploaded, re-edited to bleep out a bunch of F-bombs, uploaded again, if you hear that, it's just my grinder, <laughs> I am doing things while I'm doing this, but uh, I decided not to release that video today and I have also decided to never release that video and that video went into the trash never to be seen by the public eye because it was a review on that Kenworth W900 that I just put up in the part one and part two videos the other day and just no, there is a review, a proper review coming on it. But just know the mod is garbage. It is absolute garbage. In my opinion, the mod is a scam. So in this video, I was really upset and decided to, in the video, tell this guy that I was leaking his mod. But then I got to thinking. You know, 
maybe there is somebody out there who enjoys that mod. I don't know who it would be other than maybe a three-year-old who just thinks the lights are pretty inside it. But uh, they're probably, you know, knowing the world, there's probably somebody who likes that mod. So for me to buy it, not like it, spend $50 on something that I believe is a scam doesn't then just give me the right to go back and be like, hey, dude, I'm going to leak your truck because I would never leak Rudas. I would never leak Z mods. I would never leak anything from FLX. But if I leaked that other truck, then I would be basically advocating for other people to leak those modders trucks because what if they buy the truck that I like but they don't like it does that then give them the right to just go around and start leaking the trucks it doesn't so I had no right to do that so I decided to take the video down before it ever went public before anyone ever saw it I just I didn't think it was right I didn't feel right about it you know and usually when you're gonna do something and you get that feeling of this just this isn't right it ain't the right thing to do it ain't the right way to go about it listen to yourself because you're right it probably ain't the right way to go about it and that damn sure wasn't the right way to go about it but it left me without a video today, so I'm doing this this morning. Going to try to keep it short, try to get it out today. Kind of a channel update. Um, the Trucking Truth is returning. Maybe every now and then an episode goes up that can be put on YouTube. But for the most part, just it's going to be on Rumble, guys. I'll put the link in the description to my Rumble. There's already, I think, the first one or two episodes were put over there. It didn't really take off over there. So, uh, you know, I did the easy thing, immediately fell back to YouTube. But I can't talk about the things I want to talk about over here on YouTube. Because, you know, we just had Roe v. Wade overturned. There's a lot happening in this country. But if anybody other than a liberal who's advocating for the killing of unborn children talks about these things they will get banned you will see your channel struck down i mean we all know whose side youtube is on so i can't put those videos over here but with rumble's new free speech policy they came out with well not only do they get to go to Rumble now, but they're going to get a little spicier. If you thought anything I had said before was a little spicy, no, you just wait. I'm going to make some snowflakes melt. I'm going to make some liberal tears fall. I'm going to upset some folks. <laughs> and I really don't give a shit because I've been upset for a while. Damn, that grinder needs to be cleaned. So, yeah, the gameplay videos over here, they're not going anywhere. They will stay here. They will continue to be posted here, not on Rumble. Although, six videos a week, six days a week, probably not going to be able to maintain that and do one to two episodes of The Trucking Truth per week. It's not realistic. I, I don't see it happening, so... might have to cut back three or four videos a week of the gameplay but it's just gameplay and quite honestly i don't understand why people watch it <laughs> i really don't and you, you want to really have a trip for those of you that are kind of newer to the channel start digging into some of the real early videos there are some nascar the game inside line videos from ps3 i got one that's nearing a hundred thousand views 
I want to say it's in the 80s now, 80,000. These videos had very few views six months ago. I don't know what the hell happened NASCAR wise because I've quit following it. It's just another joke of a sport that went woke and it lost me immediately. But uh, I guess something happened. These videos just, they're out of control. I get like 5,000 views a day. Or at one point, at the highest point, it was like 5,000 views a day on one of them. I'm like, well, <laughs> I don't get it, but hey. If you enjoy this stuff, enjoy it. It will be here. The spicy stuff will be on Rumble. I can't. I don't want to jeopardize the gameplay videos for something I might say in a video that YouTube deems offensive like don't kill babies <laughs> I know I'm laughing right now but that's really not a joke I don't know where you live in the world I don't know your situations but stop for a moment and really think about something. And this is what I want you to think about. Right now. In America. The land of freedom and opportunity. There are millions and millions of people. Upset because. They can't kill their baby now. Or they might have to drive across state lines to go kill it in another state. That's what people are upset over. With everything going on in the world, that's what America is upset over. We can't kill our babies. <laughs> ah, that pendulum swing to the right has begun, folks. And I'm going to ride it to the right. I'm loving it. Because, hey, you shouldn't kill your babies. You just shouldn't. Going out and having unprotected sex with a stranger and then getting pregnant does not give you the right to murder. It just doesn't. And that whole my body, my choice bullshit no longer a valid argument after you tried to poke everybody with the needle to give vaccines it wasn't our body our choice so guess what it's not your body your choice either but we're going to stop that there because <laughs> i will go on a rant and i will get banned today so we're going to put all that over on rumble that's where you'll find it i'll put a link in the description like I said, I got to keep this short so it can go up today. Won't be no driving. I don't even think I have a gameplay video for today because I was busy working on that other video that, like I said, just I can't put that out there. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm hoping next Friday over on Rumble we have a actual Trucking Truth episode. And I do think the first episode is going to kind of focus on the Roe v. Wade thing. So, come join me. You know, if you're a liberal snowflake, come melt. Come shed those tears. If you're a MAGA, ultra-conservative person, come listen. You probably like a lot of what I got to say. I just know YouTube won't, so can't put it here. Just can't do it. I don't even think YouTube will be YouTube in 10 years. You know, places like Rumble with their new free speech policy, they're going to bury this platform. Bury it. And I can't wait, really. Because, I mean, that's the only way the gameplay videos are going anywhere is the platform has to crumble and disappear. And it just might within the next 10 years. But we'll see. So come check me out on Rumble. 
or hang out here and continue watching the videos you've always enjoyed. Either way, until next time, later.